here's my Nissan Armada parked over here Okay, here I am right now. She's up here parked with this guy in this truck. Um, cheating on me. So, let's go pull up in here and see what they have to say for themselves. Yeah. They're over here cheating on me right now. In this truck. Here they are, right here. Huh? Uh, I'm showing you're cheating on me. Huh? No. This is proof right here. She's cheating on me right now with this guy. I, su I subpoenaed I subpoenaed your uh, texts and your phone records too. Huh? You don't have a PFA on me. I can drive by your house. No, it's not. Yeah. Here we go. Bye. See you later. I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna go show the kids this too. They're on their way, by the way. Here, I'm at Sheets, and this guy's harassing me right here. Oh, she's already on the See, phone. See, Sean though. Gant, right here, fucking harassing me. Turn around and come at me, and there's the ex with the fucking PFA, the buck tooth ugly little bitch. Right here is her new, her new buddy. Yeah. Her new buddy. That's right. Her new buddy. She's not gonna live with with my kids. Scary you ain't never been in a fight in your life, fat boy. Oh, you want to bet? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, I already know. Well, you already know. I already know. I can't even hold a job. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Come on. Go ahead. Keep, keep her on insults. Here's all my stuff. There's my TV. Okay. Keep talking, buddy. So, good buddy. You caught her in the vehicle talking to another man. Not exactly cheating, if that's your proof that you're going to present in court. I know you guys, I mean, it's fine when you're going through a divorce, so on and so forth. There's, it seems like they're separated, and I, I can only assume that Maybe he, maybe she doesn't have visitation. Maybe he, maybe they're splitting it while they're separated. But when you start getting like too involved and try to do like all the incredible detective work, do what you can, man. Hire a private investigator. Some of these things, especially in the case where you're talking about a PFA, which I'm assuming is a protective order or an order of protection or something to stay away. He rolled up on them, which is, you know, dangerous in itself. You know, he rolled up on He obviously knows about the guy. He knows where they were parked at. He saw his vehicle out there or the vehicle that his wife has. And she's in the truck with another guy. He knocks on the window and obviously he backs off. He backs off and then run, goes to his car and then saying, I want to prove that you're cheating on me. You didn't prove anything that, except she was in the car with a man. I know a lot of you guys will get upset. But you got to understand, people cheat. It happens. Get your proof. Move on. There's other ways to do it. There's private investigators. If you want to do it on your own, hey, do that. You subpoena her court records, sex records. Man, you already know dude is smashing and smutting out your wife. I know it's hurtful. I know it's painful. Guys, I know. Trust me. I've been through it. 
but you just have to learn to let this stuff go, man. You know, this guy, as you can see in the video as well, you know, obviously she's telling this dude all her business and the guy is like, I'm going to show the kids. Why are you going to show the kids, bro, that she's cheating? That's come on, man. Guys, you got to stay away from doing that, talking bad about her. Let them develop their own opinion. And you're going to call the cops. What are you going to call the cops for? I understand you worked hard. Who knows what you did? And in the words of you guys, you're only hearing one side. Y'all like saying that to me, right? Sure, there's only one. You only hear one side of the story. But you'll, you guys will say this in terms of him, though, right? You don't care about what her side is or what happened or if dude was putting the beaters on her. Where did this PFA come from? Dude was even saying, well, you're riding by my house. You know dude is smutting out your old lady. I understand. I mean, the only thing, to my knowledge, based off the state, the only thing that cheating, cheating is just a reason for divorce. Adultery is just a, a reason for divorce at the end of the day. But it's hard to prove. And the only thing that is really lost is alimony, which I guess is it's not a minor thing. Don't get me wrong. But you really have to get some 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 proof to prove to prove that she's got another boyfriend. You know, it's obvious that she's cheating. She moved on. If you're trying to prove that. But you follow. It looks like you follow them to the gas station. Dudes like this dude is a cornball. You know, she's telling all your business to this guy. Right. Which. He's like, you know, calling him out his name, Fatty. I had to, you know, bleep out a few words on, or had to trim it out because he was saying some uh, derogatory terms that could get the, the video, you know, demonetized or whatever. But, you know, he's basically clowning him. Like, you're not going to do nothing. You know, he's stumping his feet at him. You've never been in a fight in your life, Fatty. Oh, what a, chill out with the insults. Chill out with the insults. Either you're going to throw hands or you're not. You already know dude is with your old lady. And you saying your stuff is on the back of the truck. He's got your TV and everything else on the back of the truck. He's she left you for a dude that doesn't work. Guys, I know that is painful. You're like, I'm that dude. How can she mess with a dude that's in his 60s? I'm not saying it's the case with this, but how can she mess with a dude that's in his 60s that doesn't have a job that doesn't take care of his kids? You don't get to decide what this woman should like. This woman likes what she likes. And if she feels if she wants to be with this guy, who are you to stop? Who it is that she wants to be with? Nobody. If somebody wants to be with somebody else, by all means, you should not stand in the way of anyone's happiness. She's just like every time. And I'm pretty sure you don't pull it up on her several times. Guys, get your proof. And keep it moving. Hire you a private investigator. Keep it moving. You know, if you want to throw hands, throw hands ain't going to make her, which he didn't. Obviously, he stayed back and recording the dude. Dude's like, this dude's corny. This dude is corny as hell. He pulls out the, the camera and is just clowning you to your face, man. And it's like you really got scared because you see how you dropped the phone down when dude, you know, stamped at him or whatever. Bro, fellas, this happens. People separate. You got to learn to separate your heart from this stuff. Keep your mind focused. Don't get upset, which is hard to do. Do what's best for you and your kids and move on, man. Or either you got to heal that stuff first. But, you know, in part of the healing, some people say you shouldn't deal with somebody else. Hey, you can't just have the fellas be there for you, man. It's nothing. If she's dealing with another another uh, guy, it doesn't mean you have to just immediately just go out and find anything. Take your time, man. At the end of the day, you see how long that'll last. Maybe it may last forever. But whatever happens, if you did wrong and she end up leaving or, you know, she did wrong and you were in the right, man. Hey, at the end of the day, y'all no longer together, man. Just try to put your best foot forward. Don't turn into a child. You got to be the bigger person with this divorce thing and just get it over, over with and behind you, man. And just take care of your kids, bro. That's all I got to say, man. Don't you guys don't lose it, man. Detective work is cool till you get till you get your evidence and let that be that, man, because you're going to drive yourself crazy going through her Instagram, looking at her Facebook, following her around to the movies, peeping through the windows, riding past the guy's house who she's who she's fucking guys. Solid, solid. But, Jr., why can't we be emotional? 
had so many of you guys saying that. Where is that going to get you? Is it going to get you some pussy? I don't know, man. You tell me. Maybe it might. Hey, but let me know what you guys think, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree to book that one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, t-shirts, merch, you know, one of these as well if you're down. And with that being said, man, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all, the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beat maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth, them 